a couple of months in right now. Uh, we have completed demolition, obviously, of the previous block. Uh, we are just now completing our mass excavation portion of the job. Uh, we're starting the new construction process. So uh, we're finishing the installation of our building pad currently right now, which will be the foundation level uh, of the new courthouse. We are also in the process of installing uh, rammed aggregate piers, which will uh, provide structural support to the soils that our foundations will be placed on. Um, we're, we're also in the process of uh, getting ready to install our tower crane. Um, the first couple of efforts for that involve uh, placing a very large foundation on the east side of the project and then uh, as of earlier this morning we actually installed the first section of that tower crane which is the tower crane base. Um, so right now we're continuing with our efforts to mitigate water uh, from coming into our job site. Uh, we had a water table that was around 13 to 14 feet based on our soils reports. Uh, we first step that we took in our process was to install roughly 30 uh, 60 foot deep dewatering wells. Those dewatering wells have been in operation now for a little over a month. Uh, they're performing very well for us. Um, we're mitigating any water from coming into our job site. Uh, currently we're at about minus 28 feet on our excavation. So from a uh, typical grade, which would be street level, our foundations are gonna be roughly 28 foot deep from the street level grade at uh, Ferguson Street and Spring Street. And you were telling me earlier, once this crane goes up, it's gonna be something people can see pretty far away, right? Yes, sir. Um, we're, we're proud of the fact that we're nearing uh, e e erection of our tower crane. Um, our tower crane is roughly uh, just under 300 feet tall. Uh, it has a reach of roughly 270 feet. Uh, we feel like it's a pretty unique uh, thing that will show up here in Smith County in a couple of weeks. Uh, by comparison, that, will, that crane will roughly be uh, just under the height of the Plaza Tower building and uh, probably 35 feet or so taller than the Petroleum building. And it's not a contest, but there is a crane up <laughs> in the city right now. It's over there building the medical school. By comparison, what's it going to be, you know, compared to that one? Yes, sir. So um, Baker Concrete uh, is our structural concrete trade partner. They also are doing the work uh, at the medical school building down there. Uh, they'll have both of those cranes that will be their company owned cranes that will be erected here in Tyler. Uh, so in comparison, the, the one at the med school job is roughly 155, 160 feet. Uh, so this crane will be substantially larger than the two that were down the road at the med school job. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, is it on schedule? Are they on track to be completed by the time they said they would? What do you say? Uh, yes, sir. We're tracking uh, very well right now. Uh, we're on schedule uh, for start of foundations. That will happen immediately after the Thanksgiving break. Uh, total build on the project uh, was a completion of a two-year time frame. So we started in mid-July. Uh, our scheduled completion date right now remains steady as July of 2026. Okay, and in this process, any surprises, things that you came across that you didn't know? Um, no, sir, not really. Uh, you know, our excavations went well. As many uh, in town are aware, the uh, Smith County Historical Society and others uh, were active participants in the process for us to go through the demolition phase. Uh, we actually had an archeologist as part of our project on site during all of the demolition and all of the excavation phase. And uh, there were only a couple of minor things, you know, that we encountered that, uh, that were documented and that were registered with the Texas Historical Commission. So uh, no, sir, no, no surprises that we found. Uh, we, we, we performed a process to handle those items and uh, everything went exceptionally well. And my last question would be, you know, uh, heading up this project for Hoare Construction, what does it mean to be a part of a project of this magnitude? Um, projects of this size are special. Uh, I've been a part of several across the country and uh, this particular project to me was very interesting when I had the opportunity to move my family here and become a part of the Tyler community and uh, have a chance to lead this project for our company. I believe it's transformational. Um, 
a project like this on the square that will, uh, I think, continue to help foster growth uh, downtown and will lead to other businesses and other things uh, wanting to position themselves as part of a brand new downtown square. Uh, this project being the first phase of a project that will also be performed in conjunction with the city of Tyler for the west side of the square. I think both of those together are, are gonna, uh, th they're gonna allow the square to become a place uh, even more so where people are gonna wanna come and congregate and uh, they're gonna they're gonna improve the downtown experience for all the residents of Smith County and, and the surrounding areas.